Hello, I thought I would create a small introduction video to explain the reason why I created this project. So there's two reasons and the first one is, it's kind of simple, I wanted to share files from one PC to another. This actually solves a problem that I, that I was having at the time. And second, I really like programming and I really like sharing my projects on this channel. So this gave me a good example of using UDP and TCP, so I figured I'd make it. It's as simple as that, two reasons. Um, and the sort of third reason-ish is mm, you guys seem to like the networking stuff, so I, I figured uh, I would give that a go. So there's different ways that you can transfer files across from one PC to another, which is what this project is, is looking to solve. Uh, for example, in the past I've used USB sticks, but you know, sometimes it can take a, a long time to copy across, you know, you, you plug it in, you copy the files to the USB, you try and eject it, Windows says it's still busy, you wait a little bit of while, you eject it, you copy it, you move it across the physical machine, you then copy the files, it's a bit of a faff. So that was a, it was too much hassle, especially for one file. Um, I could have set up a, an FTP server, but I don't want it running all the time. And what if I want to share from machine A to machine B one night, and then machine B to machine A another night? Now I've got to run two servers, and it's just all a bit of a hassle. So I was um, I was installing Linux Mint on uh, an old PC that I have, an old laptop that I had, and I noticed they have this program called Warpinator, uh, and it does exactly what, what I wanted to do. It's a small GUI application, and it allows you to drag and drop files uh, and send them to other computers on the same network, just other nodes. So as long as they're running Warpinator, it picks up that another machine is running Warpinator and you can drag and drop files to it. It's perfect. I looked around, there is no version for Windows. So that's why that's why I wanted uh, to do that for here. So um, for the videos themselves, I wanted to break down the tasks into smaller discrete chunks that I could easily test. So I also wanted to use the UDP to send control signals, TCP to send the actual files. Uh, and because TCP IP allows you to run UDP and TCP from the same port, it makes configuring the application just a little bit easier. Um, and so what does the future hold? Uh, well, I guess if there's enough traction for this type of video, uh, I could look into doing a video for Mac and Linux if that's something that, that you guys want. Uh, it might be an excuse for me to learn Swift, for example, or even, uh, I don't know, Python and... Um, WX widgets or something for, for Linux, something like that, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, check out the other videos in this series. I go through all the steps. Uh, they're all there, um, and they'll be up there in the next couple of weeks. So um, thank you for watching this, and thank you for watching the series, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.